Hey guys, welcome. I originally created this for a sun and moon collab on TikTok with LOL What Am I Doing 7. There's a link in the description box below to see her awesome work. This look is a mix of glam and creature fun. Hope you keep watching and see how this creation came together. Glue down those eyebrows real quick and apply a latex bald cap with Prozade. And cut some holes to pull my ears through. For the brow, I used foam latex piece from RBFX. Start with lining up the center and glue down the rest of the piece. Seal the edges and the whole prosthetic with some Prozade. Using Skin Illustrator Zero Color Powder to get rid of any stickiness on my lids, then powdered the rest of the brow down. Add some glue around the ears and carefully apply RBFX Foam Latex Ears. I went ahead and pre-painted these because they're huge and I thought it would be a pain to try to paint them once they were on. Taking Mayron Paradise Paint in purple, using a natural sea sponge to cover everything but the center of the face and the collarbones. I also put some of this color in an airbrush to build it up. Quick spritz of Skin Illustrator Zero Marble Sealer. Back in with the Mayron palette, this time with some of the violet color in an airbrush and start to paint dramatic contouring. And added some noodling and splotchy textures on the head. Using Mayron blue color, paint it in on the jaw and create textures in a few areas. Spraying heavier in some areas for more depth. With Skin Illustrator Grunge Palette, apply prairie dust to the open skin. And bring it down into the purple areas for some spot texture. Followed by the color sand out of that same palette. Using it to softly brighten some highlight points. Also put a little on the edge of the inner parts of the ears. Now with the dark pink Mayron, Apply it around the contour areas to get a soft gradation into the dark purple. Then spattered both of the Mayron purples over the purple areas. Using the Mayron Lagoon Blue, spatter the blue spaces. With Black Skin Illustrator, airbrush the neck. Use this instead of the Mayron since it won't reactivate with the glue we will be using later. Continue with it to darken some contours and start to create crater details painting some outlines and lightly shading the inside and around the outside of the outline. Mayron Paradise paint in white to add some highlights around the outline. Then grabbing the Mayron black to line the inner part of the crater. Took some more of the white Mayron, this time in the airbrush to add some soft highlights. And I also painted some streaks radiating from the center of the chest. Using the white to ramp up some of the high points of the face and add some spots going up the head. Taking black Mayron Star Blend to intensify the dark areas of the craters and add some depth to the starburst on the chest. Now using the white Mayron Edge, add some bright hot spots. Airbrushed some black spots and craters on the head and darken a few areas while I had the color out. Paint the head craters just like before. While airbrushing the white did go around and brighten some areas. Add some darker spots on the head and shoulders and seal everything with Zero Marble Sealer. Put some small highlights around the spots to make them look like tiny craters. Use both purple and the violet for some freckles. Get some glow with the Collective Cosmetics Highlighter Saint Rosé. Started adding a little bit at a time, but love the effect highlighters give my creature makeups, so I tend to put it all over. With KVD Vegan Beauty Everlasting Glimmer Veil in Televator, add some color to the inner parts of the lips. Taking NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner, extend the corners of the mouth. Grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nervina Pro Pigment Color Volume Number 1 and use the A2 around the lips. 
followed by A5 in the same areas and coloring the divot of the cupid's bow. Lightly seal everything. Put Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer under the lower lash line. And stipple some Prazade over the neck and press some Midnight Glitter from Glitters by Gemstone Magic. Back with the Nervina Volume 1 palette, apply C1 under the eyes and the center of the eyelid. With B4, blend into the white and color the inner part of each eye. I then put on some more KBD Glimmer Veil and finish that up with some Collective Cosmetics highlighter on the edges of the lips. For the galactic glow effect, use Skin Illustrator Glow Worm, applying it under a black light since it's transparent in regular lighting. Paint large stars all over on one side, then spattered for tiny stars. Next, with Skin Illustrator Glow Worm Liquid, created a soft trail up the body and face, giving a Milky Way look and branching it out in some areas for fun texture. Spatter more glow worm, concentrating it on where the airbrushing is. Put in the scleras, then cleaned up around the eyes. Color the waterline with NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. Then set it with some more of the white pigment from the Nervina palette. Add some paper lashes and spritz some Zero Marble Sealer. Go in with the Collective Cosmetics St. Rosé Highlighter and follow it up with some iridescent glitter for a little more sparkle. And all done. Thank you so, so much for watching. 